Hello, welcome to the Andrew Lavery Show, where we talk about investing in the stock market and where we talk about building wealth over time in the stock market so we can all become self-made millionaires. Now, typically, you don't see me. I'm behind the camera, so to speak. I use a screen capture software on my laptop. So all you do is hear me. You never get to see me. I thought I'd change things up just a little bit. And what I wanted to talk about in this video is what we're seeing going on right now with the stock market. So far, year to date, the major indices are all down. Um, whether it's 5%, whether it's 8%, it just depends on the industry, you know, industry, you know, whichever one you're looking at, but they're all down right now. There may be some companies that are overall are up year to date, but for the most part, most are probably down year to date. So, and I wanted to talk about that now it can, especially with new investors, it could really be, it's really tough to see that going on because you log into your, your brokerage account with E-Trade, Weeble, you know, you know, whatever brokerage account you use and you log in and you see the value of that of your portfolio going down um, almost every day in some cases maybe some days you get a little you get an update but overall you're seeing downward trends you know one day it's 10,000 next day it's 9,900 day after that it's 9,800 and it's it, it can be very very taxing and very very hard to see that and that can cause people to panic and want to sell their shares and what I'm here to say is just don't panic don't panic um, think of it as an opportunity Think of it as an opportunity to buy good companies at a great price. Think of it as a stock market just going on sale. Um, you know, what I like to do, and I, I, ho I hope you are too, I, you know, this is something I definitely recommend. You don't have to um, buy on any means. You know, everyone's got their own investing strategies and their own styles, their own goals too. Uh, your, your overall investing goals will kind of shape how you're investing today. But the... Um, what I like to do is invest in strong, well-managed companies, uh, solid companies, dividend-paying companies preferably, but you, know, you don't have to invest in dividend-paying companies. But I do highly recommend that you invest in strong, well-managed, solid companies that have been around a long time that have withstood the test of time. So, for example, I have Pepsi in my portfolio. Pepsi's been around for decades. They've seen depressions. They've seen recessions. They've, they've seen the ups and the downs. They've taken their hits. They're taking their bumps and their bruises, and they're still here to tell about it. And they've been increasing their dividends too throughout all of that. You know, no matter how bad things were, they were always increasing their dividends too. That's another testament to how strong and how great of a company they are. And I fully expect that that will keep going here, at least uh, at least in the near future. Um, but you know, so in this in this potential bear market that we may see in 2022, we may we may not see it in 2022. It, it's totally possible we may not. Um, I think there's definitely indications that we will see a bear market in 2022, potentially in 2023, um, but we but we may not. So um, what I would say is just just don't panic. Um, if you have invested in those strong, well managed companies, you have faith in these companies. You you've done your homework, you've done your research, you've looked at them, and you you really think yeah these are these are good companies. They're, they're profitable. Their their free cash flow is in a great position. Their 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 debt is in a good position. Their balance sheets look good. Everything looks good about them. Um, they should be fine in a, in a bear market. You, they may see they may have a little, they may take their bumps and their bruises and they may take some hits. Um, you know, revenues may go down, uh, earnings may go down, free cash flow may go down a little bit. That's totally possible. Um, they're not immune from you know the effects of a recession. They're immune from the effects of a of, a, of an economy slowing down. You know, they, they, they will, you will see that in their numbers. However, they'll still be here. Um, and then they'll, they'll still, they'll, they'll weather through it. No problem. So my, my point is just, just don't panic. Don't sell. Don't think of it as, oh my gosh, I'm losing money. Um, I know it does look that way, but technically you haven't lost money until you sold your shares, right? That, that's when you've realized your gain or your loss is when you sell your shares. So um, don't think of it as you're losing money, even though you see your value of portfolio may be coming down. Just don't think of it as you're losing money. Think of it as an opportunity to buy shares of great companies at a great price. You know, the, a lot of companies may become undervalued in a, in a bear market if, in fact, we do enter a bear market. A lot of companies may become undervalued, or if they're overvalued now, maybe they come down to a fair price in a bear market. You know, maybe you know, just maybe they just hit the fair price kind of range, and you know, just look at it as an opportunity to buy great companies at great prices. Just overall, the stock market will be would be on sale at that point. Um, there's a lot of great opportunity um, in a bear market, so it's it's kind of, I I, was, I guess it's kind of a good thing for, for me. That's the way I, I look at it. It's kind of a good thing. Um, you know, prices come down. And I get to buy shares of the companies that I already have shares in, and uh, the dividend yields go up, so I get more dividend for my money. Um, so it's, I, I look at all that as a great thing. 
and yeah, sure the companies may take some take some hits and maybe they don't look as good in 2022 as they did in 2021. That's okay. There's I know they'll still be around. So it's just I would just say just just don't panic. That's all. And will we enter a bear market in 2022? Who knows? So, I mean, so far we're trending in that direction. There's definitely signs that you know we could see some uh, some um, continued downturn in the in the stock market for the rest for uh, you know proceeding on to 2022. Uh, the Federal Reserve has indicated they're going to increase interest rates. It's probably not going to be one large one, from my understanding. It's just going to be multiple small interest rate increases. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but um, so they're indicating that they will raise interest rates. There um, also a lot of people are also predicting that there will be an economic slowdown. So I wouldn't be surprised if companies see decreases in their revenues, sales. You know, maybe the companies don't grow as quickly in 2022 as they were in past years, especially as the you know when we were still in the bull market prior to COVID-19. So um, that that but that's all that's okay. You know, you're you're going to see that it's, it's it's totally fine. And also keep in mind too that you know we are always going to have recessions. There are always going to be recessions. There are always going to be depressions. It stinks, you know, when when they happen. You think, oh gosh, all this money that people are losing. You know, you you yourself, mate, you you look at your portfolio, you see the value going down. But again, I would look at it as an opportunity, not as a bad thing. Um, like I said, you can you can buy shares of great companies at great prices, and everything's just on sale. So just I would take advantage of it. If you're not investing in the stock market now and you, you think oh maybe i'll just hold off a little bit and, and see if prices come down and then jump in you know i think that's fine i just wouldn't try to time the market just just jump in and start investing if you're ready if you don't know how to pick strong companies you don't know how to analyze a company check out my stock analysis videos uh, on my channel where i walk you through how i analyze a company you know show you on the website show you on this on my computer screen um everything that i do all the websites that i go to there's a few examples of some of my stock analysis videos down below in the description so check those out um also i have a um kind of a stock market 101 video it's about two hours long all encompassing even has some success stories at the end of people who have built wealth people who weren't wealthy at all they just they had average jobs whether it's a janitor secretary teacher you know nothing that paid a significant amount of money um, and they, they built seven figure portfolios with, with those, with those salaries because they stayed invested in the stock market for many, many years. And they chose, uh, strong blue chip companies that have been around for decades and, um, you know, paid dividends and they use those dividends to help build their portfolios up even, even more because they reinvested those dividends. So, uh, that, that video, that stock market one-on-one video has uh, all kinds of stuff, including those success stories at the end. So I recommend checking that video out as well. If you have any questions at all, definitely leave those down below in the comments for me. And I'm I'm no expert in the stock market. I'm not a hedge fund guy. I'm I'm not a, a you know Wall Street guy. I'm just someone who's learned a lot about the stock market over the years. Um, I I don't consider my like I said I don't consider myself an expert. I think I have a good strong basic knowledge of the stock market and how to choose a company, um, and then how to continue to analyze that company as the new numbers come out every quarter. Because that's one thing I recommend doing. If you choose a company now and you think all right it's good it's great. Doesn't mean it's going to be a good company 5, 10, 15 years down the road. They can make bad decisions. So the analysis that you do, that you, at least that you see me do uh, that in the videos, the stock analysis videos, I do that same analysis once every three months when new numbers come out. So I make sure these companies that I'm invested in remain good companies to be invested in. So um, if they turn if they turn terrible and, you know, they, they start going downhill, I sell my shares, get out. Uh, if I have a loss, I have a loss. You know, it is what it is. And then reinvest that money back into uh, another good company to uh, to carry me to carry my portfolio to the next level. So um, that's what I recommend overall with the bear market. Don't panic. Will we even see a bear market? Maybe, maybe not. If you're hearing all these people, all these experts saying, yes, we will. And here's when it's going to happen. It's going to happen next month. It's going to happen in June. It's going to happen in September. No one knows exactly. No one knows. I would recommend don't try to time the market. Don't don't try to. I, what's, what's Warren Buffett's quote? I think Warren Buffett's quote is, and I'm, I may be paraphrasing slightly. Don't try to time the market. Just spend time in the market is is what uh, the, the great Warren Buffett said, the Oracle of Omaha. So that, that would be my recommendation to you as well. Don't try to time the market. Just spend time in the market. That's what I'm doing. I'm not selling any of my shares. Um, but I will be buying more shares as uh, every two weeks when I get paid. So thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. I really appreciate it. I hope this video is helpful. 
Leave comments down below, whether you like the channel, you don't like the channel. Uh, if you have questions about investing, leave those down below in the comments. If I don't know the answer, I'll do my best to get you pointed in the right direction so you can find the answer that you're looking for. And uh, any other comments that you have, leave those down below for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.